welcome to this video. In this video, we are gonna play Claustrophobia 1643. This game has been designed by Croc, helped by Laurent Pouchon. This is a reprint published by Monolith that will hit Kickstarter on November 6. It will then be delivered two months later, in January. For this video, I, Johan, will play the Infernal player. And here, Margot, Hi. <laughs> will play the Human player. In this scenario, the first one of the book, The Survivors, you had a bunch of warriors that tried to clean the tunnels underneath New Jerusalem. But th something bad happened and there was a massacre. So all you have left are those warriors here. And now you cannot face me anymore. So what you have to do is to try to run and escape by the exit tile. Okay, and how do I escape? So yeah, you've seen the exit tile is here and you will escape by exploring. So just let's get rid of this. You will explore by following the faint draft of fresh air that you can smell. This is represented by this token. So as every game of claustrophobia, you can explore when there is an opening on the tile. Mm -hmm. But if you explore following this draft of fresh air, we will take this turn marker and move it one step forward for each exploration following this token. And when this token has reached the 10, the next tile mm -hmm. is the exit tile. So it won't be taken at random from this pile. And when this tile is revealed, your warriors can enter it. When a warrior of yours enter it, he will immediately leave the game. And I win. No, not yet. Because in order to win, you will have to have two warriors entering this tile. Just two? Yeah, only two. By the way, I cannot enter this tile. And if you have two warriors here, they are not from the game anymore, remember? You win if only one of your warriors reach this tile, it's a tie. And if none reach the tie, I win. So for this scenario, I will have two hellhounds as always, but the demon is special. The demon I may bring in the game is the hunter. This hunter can enter a game twice. And he has four life points, two in movement, one in combat and four in defense. Also, you can see that's pretty weak, but when attacking a western warrior, this demon will gain plus one in combat for each damage marker on this warrior. So be careful. Okay, the because the stronger you get, the weaker I get, the stronger you get. Exactly. And you can see also this power, stalking. Stalking will be added to my board of destiny and with a 5 plus, I will be able to activate it. And until the beginning of my next turn, none of your warriors will be elusive anymore. Okay. So, you've understood everything? Yeah. Remember, the Redeemer is blessed. So once in a game, you can use this talent. And now, let's just start the game. So. You start with your preparation phase by rolling one die for every human warrior you have here. Okay. Let's do that. Let's go, let's try to run. So, three, six, one, one. Um. So, all those activation dice, you will put one of them on each of your warriors. But you already know that. <laughs> yeah, but no two, no five, so I cannot use my powers of no, the Redeemer. No gift um, for this turn. I will draw some cards. I cannot move really quick. Maybe with the Redeemer. Yeah, it's still a good idea. And drawing cards is always a good idea. And for this one, I won't have to combat, so to defense. All right, so now you've activated 
are of warriors, and you can draw two cards. Two cards. Of those ones. So those right. instinct cards won't be played this turn. You can only play, play them from the next turn. Okay. And remember, you have a hand limit of four. Okay, now I'm going to start with the Redeemer because he can move twice, so... That's a good idea. So, you go there, you can take the Redeemer, and... Oh! Too bad for you! That's a lair. A lair is a troglodyte's nest. So, in, on this tile, I will always be able to make some troglodytes pop out. Even if I'm here. Even if you're here. Well. So and here is a redeemer. You can move the turn marker one step away forward. And you go and there. Keep moving. Because the draft of fresh air is here. Uh, let's put it this way. So the draft of fresh air is now here. I will move with it's my activate the others. Also three guys. Oh, are you sure you want to move the three? Maybe not. <laughs> because no. I admit my troglodytes can enter here, but remember I have hellhounds also, and those cannot enter the game if you block the openings. So I have to leave someone behind. You don't have to. But it's better. That could be a good idea. Okay. And I start the game with four threat points. So end of your turn. Now. I play. This is my preparation phase, so I will roll three destiny dice. Oh, everything's red. And I have two, three, and three. Hmm, I guess taking some threat points would be a good idea. Let's put a two, a three on dark destiny in order to draw cards. It's always good. And Intrepid Charge, I will start preparing that power. So, Abyssal Threat is activated. I have one die, is enough. So for each die, I take three Threat Points. The big gem is three. Mm -hmm. Dark Destiny is also activated. I needed any one die. So, I take, I draw three cards because of the three I put here. So I will keep this and this die is not activated. Good. It doesn't trigger the condition, so it will just stay here. Now it's my threat phase. So I will pay three threat points in order to make three troglodytes enter. Happy? Yay! Yeah, of course. <laughs> and let's play a nice little demonic possession. What's that? What is demonic possession? I will just possess one of your warriors, a non-devoted warrior, so I cannot possess the redeemer. the redeemer. So I'll take one of those. Let's see the combat value of them. Uh, one and three. Yeah, but six in defense. Uh, I will possess this one and try to hit the brute. Oh, let's do that. Oh, two six. Oh, that's not a good start for me. Wonderful. So you take two damage markers. Oop. And get rid of this card. And my brute. And you put them on your brute. So now you are putting your damage markers to cancel lines of activation. Yes, number one. All right. Then, my activation phase. So, all of my warriors here, my three troglodytes, will attack your scout. So, I roll this. So that's so, three hits. Exactly. I need at least a three, so. That would be a quick game. <laughs> that's a good start. No, it's the other one. Maybe here. You have to make choices. So, end of my turn. Now, it's up to you again. Okay. Let's try to do better this time. Uh, 
uh, still no two and no five, so I still cannot use my powers. But maybe you have them on your cards. That's my cards. Yeah. I cannot move if I'm outnumbered, except if I have... The elusive talent. So, this is when I can move and explore. Mm. That's plenty enough. And then... All right. Under Redeemer and change. So only one activation card per warrior. So That's my good. six turns into a two mm. for Aura of Courage and one here, my Camden Scout. Now I can draw one, two, two cards and put Aura of Courage and one of my guys and leave the first tile so Aura of Courage turns this one. So yeah. <laughs> Three. Good idea. I roll three Ooh. attack dice. And I have three in defense. And so that's three hits. Three or more is a hit. Then I have three dead tro troglodytes here. Yes. And now I can that's move. That's a good score. I can move with my boot. Yeah. This one I can move also. Uh, that's three, that's three. So yeah. Don't, okay. don't forget about the occupation limit. So maybe first you should move. This one, or oh, the there is still the redeemer, so yeah. Yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, you can just do whatever you want. I'm going to move this one twice, mm, and now right. explore with the redeemer. Okay. So here is a trap. Haha! -ha. Gotcha. And what's this trap? This trap is triggered whenever you enter this tile. And when you enter it, I roll a die on a four or more, you suffer a hit. So okay. it's okay. And the effect has been triggered, so I will take this and put it there. Okay, just, so to notify just it. for the first. Yeah. yeah. Just a one time effect. So one and two. Great. Hmm. All right. Yeah, so it's okay for me. You discovered a new tile. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's important. All right, my turn. So I clean those dice that already have been used, but not this one. I take three new dice and roll them. Only red again, one, one, and two. So I could activate Intrepid Charge but I don't think that's a good plan right now. <clears throat> Frenzied creatures. Yeah, you know, like that. And a little abyssal threat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's always a good idea. So, <whistles> abyssal threat. I got three threat points. This, not move, still. And all of my troglodytes are frenzied this turn, which means if you they can miss, re -roll. yeah, exactly. So let's do that now. It's my pre uh, threat phase. Sorry, for three threat points, I make three troglodytes enter the game here. So they come here. They can three is the occupation occupation limit for the warriors of each side. And they attack. So uh, my boat is four in defense. Four in defense. And my scout, three. Three plus one. Plus so one, four yeah. also. So four both. And I will attack the scout. Hmm, he's too new for me. So that's one hit. Just one. This skull is always a hit. So. Hmm. Don't forget, the Brute has the Bodyguard talent. So I can put it so on the, the Brute instead yeah. of my Scout. The Brute can take the wound, but maybe you think... But it's already quite damaged, so maybe exactly. the Scout. It's up to you. Great. Okay. That was the end of my turn. Now, it's yours again. Okay, it was not too bad. <laughs> and you get rid of the tokens and the tokens cards. And yeah. cards.
Good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now I can, I can use pre-science. <laughs> yeah. And a of, of courage. <laughs> You've got only that. Yeah. Uh, five, that's a no here. Yeah, that's good. Two, that's a no here. You can activate everyone. Yep. And what do I need most? And don't forget about your instinct cards. Yes. I want to move this one. is elusive. Five and five, so I can move quite quickly. Mm. Okay, so one card here. Good one. And... No, just three seconds, yeah. This one is not good. This one is quite good for me. And this one is okay. <laughs> <laughs> All my warriors are meant to die anyway. Maybe this one and this one, so you cannot enter easily. And this one that could be the greater, greatest idea. Here, right. And just to tell I used my power. So you will choose the orientation of the first, of the next tile. So now I will start by trying to hit you with my boot. So mm. three in combat. That's just one hit. One hit. What a weak brute. But, but I you... still can move yeah. with him. Exactly. And then with him too. Because it's elusive. So I, I'm trying now just to explore. Mm. If you want to move the brute, it's, it's now, now or just never. Yeah. So I move him now. That's why it's important to choose the order of activation. So now you want to explore, right? Yes. So I'm starting with the content scout. Yeah, good idea. So, first time. You can go there. And I move the turn marker. All right, so okay. Just tell me again what this see. card is. I know it's not too bad, so but I don't know. So, this remember. is a sanctuary. And when one of my warriors enters this tile, he will roll a die. If the die is five or six, well, five or scale, mm -hmm. this warrior suffers uh, damage. So if a troglodyte suffers damage, he just killed right away. Okay, I like it. So yeah, that's not a good tile for me. So that was my first move. Yep. And we can perform another one. movement. Yes. Put it here if you want. So then, oh, that's cool. I like this tile. <laughs> so you're here, and on this tile, this is the carnivorous tile, I guess. Every warrior, so yours or mine, suffering a damage will suffer two damage instead. Yeah. So twice the amount of damage. That's cool. But that's bad for both of us, so it's yeah. okay. So that was for my scout. Now with the redeemer. I move forward. Mm. And with my other scout, I can move twice. Remember, we can attack first. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, just... One. What? <laughs> At least I'll try it. So I come here and. Yep. <laughs> One more. That's a good idea. All right. It's okay for me. Then my turn. Those are taken away. And I'm rolling my new destiny dice. So three, one and one, and I have some white, but I don't need supernatural speed yet because you left your impressive warrior here, so I cannot go further 
and this style. Mm -hmm. mm. But maybe. Intrepid charge? Yeah, an intrepid <laughs> charge could be good. So I've reached seven, which is the minimum value I need to activate to trigger this power. And you can enter just here? Just here, or maybe there. Mm -hmm. yeah, that could be an idea also. Uh, so, a uh, small abyssal threat here, because I like that. I got, I get three threat points and intrepid charge is activated. So, with intrepid charge, my warrior scar can enter on the game by an opening, always. But even if there is a warrior of yours here, they are not afraid anymore. Uh, so, three. That's for a Hellhound. Yeah. It's the first time this Hellhound enters the game, so I can give this Hellhound a die for free from my reserve. I put a 1 here, so this Hellhound has 1 in movement, 3 in combat and 4 in defense. And still 3 life points. So 2 hits will be enough to kill this warrior. And Let's put three and I get one back for two troglodytes here and maybe, yeah, just maybe one more. Um, do I want one more? I do want one more. You sure? Here. Yes, I am. Sorry. So only four in defense. Okay, let's keep this for the end. Uh, I just make them enter here and I will perform an attack with those on your condemned brutes. So you have four in defense. Four in defense. Great. So three <laughs> hits. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Too bad for you. I'm going to lose my bodyguard. Well, if I want to keep the six. All right, and now let's see here. So, um, do I use the Hellhound first or the Troglodytes? Tough choice. <laughs> Tough choice, yes, indeed. The Hellhound. Hellhound attacks your, attacks your scout. How much in defense? Three? Three, so that's two. No. Oh. That's no. doubled. Yeah, oh yeah, I will see. So it's four. Four, okay. So that's enough to <laughs> kill, to kill yeah. this warrior. Do I still have to put some of those cards? <laughs> As you want. Okay. <laughs> Even the fourth one. All right, and then uh, this will go there. Mm, I don't, not sure. So that was the Troglodytes. No, it's no, uh, no, no. But I'm thinking about moving it because staying here is bad, but going there is bad also. But this. So I'm entering this tile so you can roll a die. On a five or six, I suffer a hit. No. Of course. So less lucky than me. And those ones go there and attack your. So we've got five in defense with, with your redeemer, and the other one got three. So let's attack the scout. So we no, sorry. First, I entered this tile. So yes, you roll in two for my troglodytes, for and that's one dead. One just died. So I've got only one to attack your scout, and three is okay. enough to wound you. So maybe, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So, your turn. Too much pressure. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but you took four dice. That's one less because you've got Ow. one dead warrior. Yeah, only three dice to roll now. <laughs> three, five, and six. That doesn't seem too bad. No, I can use the three here. <laughs> yeah, I guess who will have the three? <laughs> so first here. 
I can use prescience, but I would like. Yeah, don't forget to can. use your cards. <laughs> You've reached your maximum hand size. I think that horror of courage would be useful. And then a five here is okay. Sorry. I will try to move quick. And with this one, it's a two. <laughs> because oh. of the card you played. Yes. Okay. And I don't know why I'm looking at this one. It's <laughs> no. I'm not with us anymore. That one won't leave. <laughs> All right, All right. I'm ready. I'm so ready. you can draw one card. For next time. Because of the brute that's still alive. <laughs> Resisting. <laughs> yes. Well. Or trying to resist. I'm going to fight with him. Yep. So, three. <laughs> <laughs> Three, oh. four, and four. That's four. The, the troglodytes. That much three. better. The troglodytes. I forgot my math. And I can enter here. I don't know if it's a smart move. Do you want to? No, my dear, I want I, to leave them here because you won't be. You won't have will, yeah. the charge anymore. Oh, so, sorry, the, the aura of courage. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. But it was not on this one. <laughs> and so it will be on my, my scout. Yeah. Which can move a bit. So more. you leave your brute here? Yes, yeah. he's gonna die anyway, so to block you the entrance. I think that's a smart move. So this one can move quickly, so. Even if my hunter can move up to two tiles away, just to. Uh, Tell you, my hunter, hunter can move two times away. So if the hunter comes there, one, two can be here. If this one is here, at least you have a chance to inflict one damage on my hunter. And not to die without doing anything. Okay. Uh, Just saying. <laughs> and how much for the hunter to come? Five threat points. Okay, that's easy. So, okay. no, it will cost me two dice. I will try to hit with my scout. Just right. one die, but that's a good die. Two dice, actually. Oh, yeah. Because of the aura of courage. Oh, we keep yeah. this one, okay? That's the first one. <laughs> that's a hit. And you attacked my hellhound, yeah. right? So, that's Just one wound. One. So, uh, so I move. Yeah. One. One. Two. Two. Let's move this. Oh, that's a big T Rex. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> so two. Just is a T Rex. I'm going for the trouble light. Not very brave. And then I run away. Okay, so. That's one hit, and you move there. No, that's if I suffer damage. Yeah. And you have four in defense. Oh, that's a lot. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, and you're not lucky at all, so no. it's okay. Um, mm -hmm. Stay here. All right. With your small you sure? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, then. My turn. I take all those, even the die on the Hellhound. So if I want to activate this one, I will need to take one of my dice of your three of destiny and put it there. So I rolled one, two, and three. That's perfect. I can choose the one I want for my Hellhound, which is obviously the one. So it's one, three, and four. Hmm. Oh, the three could give my hellhound the impressive talent, which is good also. But it will still be one, one, three. One in movement, three in combat, and four in defense. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot put two dice on abyssal threat because they are not of the same color. So I will put this one here, and I guess. This one there. So, here for my Hellhound, 
the abyssal threat. And my demon won't enter because I don't have enough to make him enter. <laughs> Good news for you, no? Yes! And the headhound now will attack you. So, three in combat. Yeah, I don't really like your pets. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not the purpose of them. So we've got four in defense. Yes. That's that two hits. Two. So not on the two, not on the five. Why not on the five? I don't use pre-science. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I should. Yeah, you will. Okay. All right, and I don't move my headhound. I don't want to be either here nor here. Sure. So, the end for me. Your turn. No, no. I didn't <laughs> hear. So. I can get rid of this tile. And, and the token. Yeah, and now I can use yeah. this oh. one. First, roll your dice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Five, three, five. I can use prescience. Yeah. And if you put a die on the cancelled line, you can uh, you can cure, cure it. this line with a blessed talent. Oh, yeah, I will put a five here. Five here. <laughs> so that's four in combat. And so I use. So you bless the brute. I bless my brute. And the brute is cured on this line. So that was the one time talent. Okay. No cards? No, I don't think so. I will need them later. All right. Or maybe... No, I, I will need that later. You just mm -hmm. have one small pet, so... On the charge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All so, right. Yes. Yeah. No gift, no stuff like this. You can just activate your warriors. So, with the brute, yep. I come here and I've got two and two, four dice. Four dice to roll. Thanks. That's for you. Oh, that's three and hits. he's dead. Yeah. Bye bye. My hellhound has been killed. No. So, this one is killed, but there is his brother here. With my redeemer, to move one, here. Two. All right. Uh, I could use prescience, but no. So I'm <laughs> trying with my skill to explore mm -hmm. one. I like that. Oh, that's a small passage. So as you can see, the saturation occupation index is one instead of three. Okay. So only one warrior of each side at a time. So that's okay. one movement. One and. And the second one. Second one. Oh, a tomb. What's that? When you enter this tile, you draw an instinct card. But look at it. It's a cul-de-sac. A dead end. So you cannot go further there. I cannot put the draft of fresh hair. So I'll put it on the closest tile. On the closest one, okay. Closed opening. Okay, and so now I'm stuck because I have um, to come back here and I just can put one. On the time. And you open the tomb so you can take a card, an instinct card. Yep, just like that. Okay, but uh, I already had four, so I have to this one. get rid of one. So, one more tile one. from here, and then is the exit. Hmm. Okay, close so, enough. And so close. There is no one in this <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> There is no one here. <laughs> no, but oh, so that's enter. one for you too. Yeah, also. So I can make only one of my warriors enter here. So, all right for you? Yes. You moved everyone. So, I clean this. Row my three dice of destiny. And I have three, three <laughs> and three. Oh! That's so not fair. <laughs> Uh, so, another three here, just in case. A bethel threat. 
So, six threat points here. This is not triggered. Ouch, yet. that's bad. Um, my threat phase. So, what will I do? I uh, will five threat points, so six minus one. Hello, Hunter. Yeah, the Hunter can enter the game. And here, for my pleasure, three threat points and three troglodytes can enter. So, the trap has already been triggered. There's no problem. Let's see what the troglodytes do. They so go now? here, but yeah, that's the sanctuary, so. so take that back. Last one. So oh, zero. that's two dead troglodytes. I didn't expect that. And they will attack. So this one misses. Yeah, okay. that's normal. That's fair. And uh, so. Let me see. The scout has three in defense. And, and two so ones. So does the redeemer. Redeemer, but I'm still going for the scout. So you have got oh, two wounds. Hmm. So that's plus two in so combat for me. me. Three dice. <laughs> no, I'm not worried. This no, time. you shouldn't. Two hits. La, la, la. One hit. <laughs> On the five? Yeah, you want to keep moving. <laughs> okay. All right? All right. Then, your turn. Three activation dice. This one's because not here you're... anymore. No. Three, two, one. Okay. No six. Yeah. I guess. This one will come here. <laughs> Probably. I can have the three in the brood. The three is not that bad there. And here I can change to four or six. I don't have a four. It would be useful. But you don't have a four? No. Oh, no, too bad. Really too bad. I was hoping for one, mm. but bad luck. Yeah. But with horror of courage, I can move twice. All right, then let's run and maybe give some combat to this one. Yeah. If you can. But I still have to put it here and yeah. this one will be a six. Okay. So you can draw two cards. Two cards. Keep the fours if you have some. Yes, good, good, good. And this one too. Okay. All right. Okay, let's run. Now I want to move with this one because that's a yeah. limit occupation and I want to move fast. So, on the scout. All right. Um, then, let's go. I will start with a brood. Hmm? Try to kill your troglodytes. Five yep. by five is Definitely so dead. dead. <laughs> Three times dead. That's quite enough. So yeah. there's no point. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, you're Following here, but the draft of air. that won't be my target yeah. or my first target, at least. Yeah. Now with the uh, scout. So I'm trying to hit yeah. your demon. Two dice. Two. Oh, and um, that's two damage. Yeah, I've got four in defense, so that's two damages. Ouch. That's good. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better. <laughs> and one and two. And two. So you can move this. Oh, and the next oh, one is six. I'm sorry <laughs> for you. That one. Uh, so, the draft of fresh air is here. That's a tunnel. There will be the exit. This is a tunnel, exactly. 
So I will take that and all my troglodytes, only the troglodytes, will be able to go from yeah, to this there. to this hole in the ground. <laughs> that's really not good. No, that's not. <laughs> One here. One move. Yeah. And that's it for me. Okay. Then get rid of those and roll three new dice. Here I will need some threat points, I guess. So probably the two red dice will go there and this one. Do you think I could use a card? Some event will, would be good, actually. Uh, I don't need this because of that. And I have an opening there. So yeah, I could use a card. Six threat points for me. Ouch, this is gonna hurt. Come here. Two cards. And I will keep one. Oh. I like this name. All hope is lost. <laughs> okay, but I guess the demonic rage will be better. So close to the end. So now is my threat phase. I play demonic rage. When I play this, during this turn, my demons and hellhounds are frenzy. So I can give them the frenzy token talent. Yes, because you're not lucky enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. So my hunter is already in play. So now three for the hellhound to enter. Have a one. Hmm, a small frenzy one. <laughs> Too bad. And three. Uh, at least two troglodytes here and two troglodytes here also. So now let's play. You have a lot of wounds here, so let me come find you. I have one plus four in combat, which is five. Mm. Okay, you've got five in defense. No, you've six. got six. Okay. But I'm frenzy. Yes. So, no Three damages, two. and I can reroll five dice. <laughs> Starting to be stressed. No! No hits! Oh, that's cool for you. <laughs> I'm relieved. So now it's the same with the trouble that Are you? <laughs> from that First, one. the hellhound. Here, three in combat. Can we just put the... Oh, no, sorry, I'm just cheating. Yes, we can. Just, if I die, I would have seen the exit. <laughs> uh, I just put the wrong one here. Sorry, and here is the exit that you can see. So close. But I just try to cheat. This one, this one only has three, uh, one in movement. Okay. So I can only go there. So maybe you will be able to reach the exit. Which one? At least with this one. So, growl. Uh, five, five, that's hits. Yeah, those are hits. And one that I can reroll, a four, which so is a hit hits? also. Yeah. Three hits, oh, that's bad, really bad. I just have to check my cards. Yeah, <laughs> you should. Think about all of those. So this one has been triggered. Yes, I don't have the one I want. It's still maybe <laughs> my only way. It might be your only way out. Okay. So, this is good for you. Those troglodytes come from my scouts. Yeah. Take the hole in the ground and attack the scouts. They are not frenzy, so they miss. Okay. 
and those ones will go there. Not frenzy either. But that's, that's one uh, hit, two, no, two hit. hits. So four hits. So he's dead. Yeah, it's he is quite dead. Okay. Boom! All right. Let's get rid of this. And now I'm going to you. try to save my two last ones. Yeah. That's what you have to do. One and four. No three, I'm sorry. But there is a four. There is a four. That's already mm -hmm. something. So I will be exhausted this time. Yeah. But if you have cards giving some extra movement. No. That's cool. No. No, no, no. So it won't be for this time. I can move with the other one. That's bad. And if I'm exhausted, so I just put this token here on the, on the line, line that you activated. Yes, and I just have swing defense, but I cannot move and cannot combat. Yeah, that's you have really zero in really movement and zero in combat. That's really bad. Yeah. And if I put it here, it's just for this turn or...? No, no, no just for this turn, yeah. Okay, anyway, I put the one here. This one is exhausted. And maybe the plus one in combat would be good, because my demon that's has two yeah, life points left. So, so. Yeah. No, not on... Uh, on oh, the yeah, yeah, but... I was going for plus one for the Redeemer to try to do something with him. Okay. And maybe Frenzy for yeah. this one. Uh, maybe not but a with a plus bigger. one on this one, you can kill the demon. Yes, and, and, I maybe, and I maybe want to keep my four for next time. There is next. Don't you want to make this one leave? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. it will be a tie, so... Yeah, look for the tie. <laughs> and I cannot move. Uh, does your demon cancel my elusive power? No. no, 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 don't worry. Okay. I haven't activated stalking the power. Okay, I'm going for a tie. So, you start with combat? No, I really no, want to do something with my Redeemer. Okay. Just <laughs> last try. The last one! <laughs> yeah. And I will be friends. You will stand yeah. until the end. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm starting with the Redeemer. So you only need one die. Here. So the Redeemer does nothing. <laughs> At least I tried. Yeah. <laughs> and no. And this one? It's the same dice. On the demon? On the demon? Just on the phone. Oh, that's a hit. And that's a hit. And Almost dead, but not. Okay. One life point left. Okay, so out. this one is out. <laughs> and now let's try. <laughs> you will try okay, to but at make least this one leave, but... I saved one of my guys. Yes. So my turn. I take those three dice. Roll them. Two, three, and one. Uh, I don't need any more of those. Uh, I... Okay. So it will be... I will take a card and take six threat points. So, threat phase, no one enters. Then, the Hellhound attacks. Uh, yeah. How much in defense? Three. So, yes, so that's two. That's enough. Okay. Goodbye, Redeemer. So this is the end. It's a tie and it was really close. It was really dense. <laughs> yeah, and it was cool. So that was the game of Claustrophobia 1643. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you want some more information about the game, you can join our Facebook page, Monolith Edition. So I hope to see you there, and goodbye!